Една од дилемите во овдешната јавност е дали, да речеме, земите членки на ЕУ, па и САД, прават се што можат за да се деблокира пристапниот процес на Северна Македонија во Европската унија. There is enormous support for North Macedonia, and you see it here in Ohrid at this uh, press forum dialogue. Uh, the number of countries, the number of leaders, the number of uh, influential diplomats who are coming here, I think, demonstrates the strong support that North Macedonia has. And certainly from Washington, you've seen the messages of President Biden, who is a longtime friend of this region and this country, uh, of Secretary Blinken, uh, who made very clear at, uh, at the various uh, multilateral fora that he's been at this week in Europe, uh, that we want to see this region uh, move ahead. And we're lending all of our support to that. Бидејќи стоењето во место им отвора простор прво на антизападни, антидемократски структури во земјата, но исто така и дополнително придонесува за стагнирање на реформските процеси во, во Северна Македонија. North Macedonia is very much part of the West. Uh, North Macedonia is a member, one of 30 allies in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the most successful defensive security organization uh, in history. Uh, and that means something. And uh, North Macedonia did a tremendous amount of work on reform on behalf of its citizens to meet the requirements for that membership. And I'm very confident that the country will continue to move ahead in the right direction in broader Euro-Atlantic integration, particularly as we emerge from the COVID pandemic. It's a time when we have to focus on economic regeneration and growth. The president is very focused on that, on resilience, uh, and we're going to have to do this together. Uh, and that's the message uh, that the Biden administration is delivering, and that's why the president and the secretary have sent me here to Oak Ridge to speak at this forum.